starts now. We got a full house for you on this Monday. Today on Up North at 4, we will welcome organizers of the upcoming Northwoods Cruise for Cancer. They'll be here in studio. Then Jeff and I will dive into our weekends, talk skiing, the ice castle in Eagle River, and more. We'll get to all of that in a bit, but first, here's your top four at four. Actor and comedian Bob Saget has died. He was found unresponsive in his hotel room in the Orlando area. He was pronounced dead on the scene. His autopsy shows no signs of drug use or foul play. Saget was best known for his role in the sitcom Full House and was a life -tom, lifelong comedian performing the day of his death. Saget was 65 years old. The Packers didn't exactly end the season on a high note, but still have the top seed in the playoffs. Green Bay lost 37-30 to the Detroit Lions, but didn't play their starters for the whole game. The Packers will get a few of their stars back for their postseason run. Tackle David Bakhtiari played limited time Sunday. He will be back for the playoffs, as will edge rusher Zadarius Smith. Cornerback Jair Alexander could return as well. Over the weekend, a snowmobiler died in Langlade County. The victim was identified as 23-year-old Conrad Schmidt of West Bend, Wisconsin. Langlade County dispatch received a call about the accident at approximately 2 a.m. on Saturday. Schmidt failed to handle a curve, struck a tree, and was ejected from the snowmobile. He was later pronounced dead at the hospital. The accident is still under investigation by the Wisconsin DNR. Nominations are open for the 2022 Golden Apple Awards. Each year, the Rhinelander Partners in Education honors outstanding educators in the Rhinelander area by recognizing teachers with strong professionalism, leadership, and innovation, and they give them a Golden Apple Award. And as you can see, those teachers get surprised in their classrooms. To nominate a teacher, go to rhinelanderpie.com. The deadline for that is February 28th. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins. Now, Jeff, fair to say, a little bit cold out there today. Yeah, hey, Dan, happy Monday. Well, we don't do this very often. Low temperatures this morning down near 15 below zero, and high temperatures not recovering much up near zero for highs today. After we did this this morning, again, we don't do this often, so... One more night of this tonight, and then warmer temperatures are on the way. We could do 30 as soon as Wednesday. Right now, though, no 30s for you. We're hanging out below zero in Rhinelander, and most places are right near zero. They're going to drop off very quickly tonight with the clear skies across the area, and that will give us low temperatures down near 15 below. But... We're the cool kids in town right now. There's warmer temperatures just off to our south and west. Those are making a run for us. So not a heat wave, but 30s not out of the question for us on Wednesday, maybe even Thursday before we cool down again over the weekend. In fact, here's that trend. Tomorrow, 21, 28 for Wednesday, 27 Thursday, and they kind of back down a bit for the weekend. So overall, uh, near or closer to average uh, as we head through the rest of this week. All right, we're building ice rapidly now on the Great Lakes. About 7.5% ice covered right now. Uh, this will probably add our 5% into Thursday or Friday, but overall we're behind last year's pace, but with temperatures like they are right now across all the Great Lakes, uh, look for a lot more ice to build across those areas tonight and tomorrow. And don't forget about your pets, please. They need us in temperatures like this with lows tonight down near 15 below. Feel like temperatures approaching 25 below. They do not want to be outside for very long. Okay, looking outside right now here in Rhinelander at the airport, the pavement is uh, cleared off at the airport right now, uh, but the clear skies are emerging again as the sun is now setting and that's going to allow temperatures to drop very quickly across our neck of the woods. In fact, looking outside right now, lots of clear skies across central and northern Wisconsin. There is some lake effect snow showers further north. In fact, let's go there right now, Paul, if we can. Here we are up in the UP. Uh, yeah, some light snow falling across that neck of the woods currently, but that will stay there. We have no snow in the forecast until late Wednesday night and then again early on Friday. Your full forecast at 5 o'clock. Welcome to Patchouli Garden in Park Falls. We love authentic Indonesian patchouli and we specialize in our original custom blends. Everything with the Patchouli Garden name on it, we make right here in our store. Visit Patchouli Garden in the store or online. Green Bay fans go inside the huddle. Your number one source for what's going on. Inside the huddle. Who's got questions? We'll tell you how it all went down. Get ready. Go inside the huddle with me, Aaron Jones. Brought to you by these fine sponsors.
Get organized with a designer's image wooden closet system at Menards. They are great for hanging clothes and storing accessories. Save big money on designer's image wooden closet systems. Whether you need a spot for extra storage or want to add an accent to your living space, Dakota has the shelf for you. Keep your home neat and tidy and save big money on Dakota shelving right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Corey Linda wrote in, and she wants to know what's your favorite part of being a bath installer. That's a great question, Linda. I love my job. At the end of the day, seeing the look on their faces, it really means a lot to me. I love what I do, and it's very special. As my dad always says, Jacuzzi has some really exciting offers. Take a look. Let's make your tired old bathroom look beautiful again. Save now with 75% off installation, plus a free upgrade to stylish black fixtures. Call 1-800-TUNDERLAND or visit TUNDERLAND.com today. Weather can be weathered with technology there to help you in a Ford Escape. Winter roads can be tough. Bronco Sport tougher. And Explorer can take the bite out of chilly mornings. Ford. Winter like you mean it. Hurry in to get a great offer on a weather-ready Ford SUV. Visit your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers today. We're backing up north at four. We're joined by Debbie and Ed Rowitz with the Northwoods Cruise for Cancer. How are you guys doing today? Wonderful. Fine, thank you. So we're going to talk about the cruise, but let's just start kind of with the origin story. How did you guys come up with this uh, cruise for cancer? Well, my husband, Ed, is an avid snowmobiler, and um, we had just lived here a few months, and it started with me having breast cancer diagnosis on the actual day we were unpacking wow. to live here. So um, we stayed here. I thought about moving back to St. Louis. I didn't have physicians here. But anyway, we had a good outcome, good story, and he's writing and thinking and thought it would be a crazy, you know, a nice idea to give back to the community. I thought he was crazy, but it's worked out really well. And I was going to say, you know, your life changed in the summer of 2017. Correct. And now you're changing lots of lives by raising lots of money for cancer awareness? Yes, and actually um, this fund is called the Northwoods uh, Cancer Care Fund. It is managed through the Marshfield Clinic Manaqua system, uh, the center here for cancer patients. It's all cancer patients. Mm -hmm. I was a breast cancer patient, but this fund provides emotional support, financial support, and educational materials and other support for all of these patients and it was the perfect fit for us to be able to give back to our new home. Mm -hmm. And Ed, tell me about the, the cruise itself. What happens on the day? Is it a bunch of fun? Yeah, on the day of the registration, uh, we typically have around 75 riders. And, uh, it starts down Lake Monaco at the boathouse and it depart it, the registration's at nine. It departs at 10 o'clock and we travel down towards the Willow Flowage area where we have a lunch and a a banquet with all kinds of raffles and prizes and, and things like that. And then it departs back to the boathouse kind of for an evening, for a joyous event also. And you and I were talking earlier about how I'm hitting the trails this weekend on Saturday, kind of a triple I up to Minocqua kind of event. The trails are in great shape right now, right? So that maybe is, a good turnout for your event this weekend? That, that, is, that is correct. It should be a real good turnout. Trails are, have been groomed. They're in very good condition right now. We have a nice snowpack on the trails. Mm -hmm. Let's bring up on the screen uh, kind of the... Uh, logistics of the event. It'll be on the 29th, so so a couple weekends from now. And like you said, registration at 9 o'clock. Uh, what should people bring? What should people expect? People should expect, number one, that if they have already pre-registered, which we have a website through Marshfield Clinic and also the Monaco Forest Riders, which I want to mention are big supporters of this event for us. So they can go to that website on um, monacoforestriders.org. There's also a link then directly uh, linking them to the Marshfield Clinic Foundation event planning. So they sign up. You can sign up as a rider. With a, being a rider, it's $50. You get a long sleeve, long, uh, sleeve t shirt, lunch, um, a lot of fun, and riding. Riders can also just show up that day. Uh, we take a day of registration. Um, so we have a lot of volunteers. We do it um, at the boathouse inside. So the girls that help me out can pass out everything. Um, and stay warm. And stay warm. <laughs> um, 
um, the boathouse has been very gracious to help us stay warm inside and help everybody get ready for the ride. Um, the riders then expect to go down and meet my husband and he'll have a bunch of guys, they'll wear highway vests so that we can identify them. We break up the group in you know, as small a group as we can depending on how many volunteers we have. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you have 75 people trying to follow the lead. Yeah. We break them up around 10 to 12 people in a group and no one needs to be worried that they're not fast enough. This is a leisurely ride to enjoy nature and the snow and just the camaraderie of the event. And it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You've raised almost $30,000. Yes. How does that make you guys feel, the money coming in? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I mean, I had no idea how this event would take off. And I can say the very first event was very cathartic for me, being a cancer survivor myself. Uh, the joy that everybody has been touched by cancer and everybody at the event was just so proud to be helping. Mm -hmm. When we did it the second year, it just got so much bigger that actually the, the people that own the restaurant where we've done it the last couple of years, she said, this was so wonderful. She said, they're going to have to find a bigger place. But then, you know, our pandemic happened and mm -hmm. we did not do it in 2021. So um, I was a little nervous, you know, starting back, but we're anticipating a really good crowd. Yeah. Very nice. Let's flash that on the screen one last time. January 29th, it's the, I'm messing this up now, Northwoods That's, Cruise for Cancer. Yes. Uh, Ed, any final thoughts from you? What, is it, what does this mean to you? We are adding uh, one more stop this year. It's on the way to uh, Will Willow Haven where we have the lunch buffet. It's a new place called um, Pickles. Previously Pickles. Known, previously known as the Edge Bar and Grill. Okay. And it's sort of a coffee stop, kind of hot chocolate halfway stop in between where the groups will be given about 30 minutes and they can stop and have a beverage and warm up if it's, if it's a real cold day that um, that day. Our first year it was minus 20. Hmm. So uh, we're hoping it's not minus 20, but we did have, <laughs> yeah. we did have, uh, um, we've had good weather the last, our second year, so. Okay, can't get much colder than that, I don't think. No, I, except for that was a cold night. one. But, you know, but we've already we're asked Jeff for a special day. Oh, that's yeah, nice special you, day. I'm going to pull in a favor. Okay, yes. good. Well, <laughs> thank you, Debbie, and thank you, Ed, for joining us on the show. Oh, thank you're welcome. You. Thanks for having us. Of course. We'll be right back after the break. Jeff and I are going to talk about our weekends, including me skiing. Welcome to today's Elite Money Minute with the Elite Advisor Team. Hey Mike, I heard you and Nikki are going sledding on George Street Hill. We sure are. I'm getting the old toboggan ready by putting the super slick ceramic wax on. I'm looking to set a new amateur recreational toboggan land speed record. Remember, don't try this at home. Mike, you may want to be careful. You're not as young as you used to be. It might take a little longer to recover. Perhaps you should stick to helping people with their taxes and their portfolio efficiency. You're way less likely to end up in the emergency room. If you would like to learn more ways to make sure your retirement is as efficient as Mike's toboggan, give our office a call at 1-800-469-2040 and request your free copy of Retirement Be Prepared. That's today's Elite Money Minute. For more information on this topic or other retirement ideas and information, visit our website at retireidea.com. Doing an interview from Atlanta's hottest spot. I know what I'm doing. Fine. What could go wrong? I'd like to talk to you about the people who think the Confederate generals are great. What an unfortunate time for the music to drop. New Keenan tonight on NBC. Don't drink lemonade. Tonight, That's My Jam gets wet and wild. Do you know the song? No, I just wanted to see if I could catch the ball. Oh, my God. New That's My Jam tonight on NBC. I know there's conflicting information about Dupuytren's contracture. I thought I couldn't get treatment yet. Well, people may think that their contracture has to be severe to be treated, but it doesn't. If you can't lay your hand flat on the table, talk to a hand specialist. But what if I don't want surgery? Well, then you should find a hand specialist certified to offer non-surgical treatments. What's the next step? Visit findahandspecialist.com today to get started. All right, we're back in Up North at 4. Jeff, we missed you on Friday. What were you up to? I was at a uh, school talk in Crandon. Uh, 
gosh, that was so much fun. This is a class, it was a Spanish class that presented their um, weather lessons to me, I guess, in Spanish. Okay. So I don't know a ton of Spanish, but uh, the teacher was grading the, you know, the Spanish piece of it. I was grading mm -hmm. the presentation. And this is that class. Uh, they were amazing. The educators there are amazing. And then afterwards, they had this cool thing on Fridays where the seniors come in, because they're in the same building, and they have like this karaoke contest for 40 minutes. And it's so much fun. It was just craziness. So did you participate in the karaoke uh, I, contest? I, I did not get up there and sing, but I was, uh, I was, you know, I was <laughs> watching them and having a good time with it. Very nice. And uh, you know, I was grateful they invited me. They're an amazing group of kids and students there and educators. So thank you very much. Um, I did not. Um, come to work that night because I didn't want to work like a 15-hour day that day. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> so, you know, it was one of those. So. You don't need to, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like Crandon. Crandon's a nice area. Um, I want to mention, I, I went skiing this week and I went to Northwood Golf Course twice. I'm mm -hmm. behind in my training. So, so I'm down training. Those, not down those skiing. No, cross I went cross-country skiing. skiing. Yes. It was pretty cold out this weekend, but I knew I wasn't going to be able to go today because it was absolutely frigid. Yeah. But I'm training for the American Berkebiner. That's yes, the, you at are. At the end of February, I do it every year. I've done it seven or eight times, so I really need to get my acting. So is is that a thing? Can you just go to the golf course and you ski around, or do you need to get permission first? No, it's not, you don't just ski on the golf course. They have like a kind of a separate trail system that weaves in between the uh, greens and the fairways and such. And that's right by your house too. That's fantastic. Yeah, very easy. What else this weekend did you do? Well, I do want to mention one thing about um, kind of a pet peeve of mine. So I made soup this weekend. I made this chicken tortilla soup. Mm -hmm. I make it all the time, and I often buy a bag of chips to kind of crumble on top. So one of my pet peeves is if you look at this bag of chips that I bought in Triggs, is that it's really only half full, right? So I'm kind of looking into it. The chips, they're not even, like... They're not even fill the window, right? right you can see the window in there, yeah. and that's where it stops. Like. Why can't we just uh, all agree that let's just make packaging fit how much is in there? But don't you want extra air in a bag of chips to so cushion it in case when it's being shipped around? So that way they're not uh, all cracking and crunching. I so when you I didn't think about that, what's your reaction to that? Well, I think the camera is right on you right now. I feel like there's hello there. I feel like there's more examples of that. Like if you take a pill bottle or a medicine bottle, it's always like nothing is there's always so much space so much in that space. bottle okay I so i it. feel like if i was king for a day i would make sure that all packaging has to actually fit the amount of material inside i get it. like i have a, uh, a brick of mozzarella cheese back in the weather office right now okay and you see the whole brick is wrapped in cellophane so you get a full brick of yeah that's a, that's a good use of packaging yes okay so i get it, it it's and kind of a letdown i guess when you see you get a bag that's half full yeah it just seems like a waste or but you see think it's half full but it's based on weight right so it's it probably weighs what it's supposed to weigh but huh. it looks less than it should be to make you happy i feel like it's a marketing scheme it's like and, a and, and i'm sick of it but jeff you mentioned you know cheese let's talk yes. about your oh. weigh in today. Oh. We have a video of that. All right. I so, weighed in again today. For you don't know, I'm on the keto diet. This is day, day 15 for me. So, again, high proteins, high fats, low carbs, basically no sugar. And I weighed in a couple hours ago and I came in at 198. My starting weight was 210.4. So, I've lost almost, what, 11 pounds? You're making progress, in, too. In 14 days, and I've, I'm down to my last belt loop. I'm down a pant size. So this thing is working for me. Again, it doesn't work for everybody, but this low-carb, or basically no-carb diet and low-high-fat diet is working for me right now. So well, cheer me on, please. It's working yeah, so far. Yeah, congratulations, Jeff. This has been fun. I feel like we should, you know, talk about something else besides ourselves. Yeah, that's so true. So after the break, let's head up to Eagle River because... Pretty much more exciting ice things castle. are happening up there. And we'll talk about the ice castle. If you or someone you know has been exposed to asbestos and you now suffer from mesothelioma or lung cancer, you could be entitled to significant cash compensation. Hi, I'm Paula Haddock here with spokesman Rob Wolf. So Rob, please share with the viewers at home, who should be calling in right now? Well, just like you said, Paula, if you or anyone you know have been exposed to asbestos and now suffer from mesothelioma or from lung cancer, you may be entitled to significant compensation. Thanks, Rob. Call now. Northland Basement Systems is the all things basementy company. Basement waterproofing, basement finishing, basement structural repair, humidity and mold control, and nasty crawl spaces too. 
When it comes to basement solutions, nobody does it better than we do. Since 1991, homeowners just like you in the Northland have trusted Northland Basement Systems for all things basementy in their homes. Call Northland Basement Systems today to schedule a free home evaluation. Think about your job. Now, imagine your new job. It is a possibility. If you're good at what you do, have confidence and drive, maybe it's time to go here. Good jobs need good people, and now's a very good time. Kasurik Automotive has good jobs waiting in Wausau, Stevens Point, and Rhinelander, and the Bennies are bountiful. Check it out. It might be your time to fly. folks, welcome back. If you or someone you love has been exposed to asbestos and you now suffer from mesothelioma or lung cancer, you could be entitled to significant cash compensation. Rob, please share with everyone who should be calling in right now. Well, just like you said, Paula, if you or anyone you know have been exposed to asbestos and now suffer from mesothelioma or from lung cancer, you may be entitled to significant compensation. Thanks, Rob. Pick up the phone and call now. So I wasn't able to make it up to the ice castle, but thankfully uh, folks from the Eagle River Fire Department have been posting a lot of updates. And one of these updates came today uh, from one of their firefighters and I thought it was kind of a good instructional on how they do right. that. So let's take a listen to that. So what we do is we take the blocks and we shave them, shave the edges so the seams are as tight as we can get them. Because if there's any opening between them, the air flows through them and widens them and melts them and the sun gets between them and melts them. So we try and get these seams as tight as we possibly can. Once we get them all where we want them, we lock them in by dumping a bucket of water on them. The water flows across them and it seals them all together, locks them in place just like like you would mortar the concrete. So neat, so cool. That's some pretty cool engineering. And don't underestimate how much work that is. Right. And all the volunteers that came out this weekend, it was fantastic. Yeah, we got a couple of pictures from our friend Dan Dumas. He is good at using a drone. Uh, and I'm gonna go up there tomorrow, Jeff. Yes. I'm gonna be live for the four o'clock show, mm -hmm. barring some sort You're of catastrophe. Me here alone. Yes. Jeff will be here. I will be live from the ice castle tomorrow. I am really excited. Uh, so that should be an absolute blast. Because this is the first time in how many years? I think 2018 was the last time. So it was a big weekend. Lots of uh, people were out on the ice, kind of harvesting the blocks of ice. Harvesting the blocks. Those got moved over to the train station area, the train yep. depot in Eagle River, and now they're assembling it, which also takes a lot lot of work and time and it takes a really like exact science too. like they are measuring these blocks they are using like lasers to make sure they're all even and stuff so I'm really excited to learn more about it tomorrow. stability is important with a huge ice castle that yeah you probably uh, prudent of them to yeah. do that well let's take another break right after the break Jeff and I did a little bit of an experiment earlier today so we'll take a look at that <laughs> Homeowners have trusted Mad City to do the right thing and put the right product in their homes like eShield, America's leader in energy reflective technology. eShield is the radiant energy barrier that insulates your attic and helps hold heat inside your home during colder months. Call now and save. It's our 60-60-60 sale. Take 60% off installation of eShield attic insulation. 60-month financing, low monthly payments, senior military discounts, plus a $60 Walmart gift card with your in-home estimate. And a bonus. Call during this program and receive a Nest Learning Thermostat with purchase of the eShield system from Mad City. Check us out online at madcityinstallation.com and Wausau and North Central Wisconsin homeowners call now for the bonus 715-803-6722. That's 715-803-6722. And I noticed they cut it as soon as I put the e-shield in, it dropped it down by about a third as far as the amount of times the furnace was coming on during the course of the day. Call Mad City Home Improvement for eShield and increase the life of your heating and cooling system by over 20%. eShield reflects radiant heat transfer in your attic for optimal energy efficiency. 
And now during our 60, 60, 60 sale, you'll save with 60% off installation of eShield attic insulation. 60 month financing, low monthly payments, senior military discounts, plus a $60 Walmart gift card with your estimate. And call during this program for the bonus. Receive a Nest Learning thermostat with your purchase of eShield from Mad City. Check us out online at madcityinsulation.com and Wausau in North Central Wisconsin homeowners call now for the bonus 715-803-6722. That's 715-803-6722. On Jeopardy! I've loved this game my whole life. Amy Schneider is a million dollar winner. This is a milestone that's only been crossed by four players in regular season play. The season of Super Champs continues. And it's only January. Can she keep making history? You're now a game show millionaire. To be here doing so well at it, I mean, that's what is the, the great feeling right now. On Jeopardy! Jeopardy! Weekdays at 4.30 on NBC 12. Welcome back. Well, we got some free advertising this morning, courtesy of Devin Biggs. He also did a science experiment. Let's mm -hmm. take a look at that. So we have some hot water in this mug right here, so I'm going to step to the side. You've seen this trick a thousand times, but we're going to do it again here. And you can see it, it's vaporizing just no. like that, and here we are. <laughs> I love it. So it was colder this morning. It was probably like negative 10 or something like that. And when negative 16. Negative 16, yes. thank you, meteorologist. When we went out, it was probably around noon or mm -hmm. one or so. Two below. It was two below. Okay, so I was actually kind of curious. I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, you're ruining the surprise for the... Oh, I was curious, too. Yeah, I, I was if curious, it or not. too. It I, well, let's find out. <laughs> All righty. Oops. Important. Two. Oh, it worked. It worked. So, I was actually kind of surprised it worked, but yeah, with cool. temperatures this cold, you know, that air just, I mean, water all of a sudden just sublimates and you got snow. So, there it goes. Are these cold temperatures going to stick around? Well, tonight, yeah, low temperatures down near probably 15 below tonight. Tomorrow, a bit of recovery back into the teens. What a lot of people really want, though, is some more snow. If you look at the numbers right now, we've had lots of snow this season, but a lot of it melted in December, right? So we have a good snowpack in place now, 10, 12 inches. The trails are in good shape. Where they are getting a little bit of snow right now is up at Michigan Tech. Let's go there now, Paul. This is what I was trying to show you earlier, and the graphics kind of got in the way. But uh, there is some lake effect snow out there, and there are a couple little systems headed our way. We could do a little bit of snow late Wednesday evening, and then and there's a bigger system, I'll call it a much bigger system, uh, that's going to be somewhere across the Great Lakes on Friday, probably late Thursday into Friday. Right now, it's kind of still too far away to tell exactly where, but that's going to give somebody a good snow, maybe across western Wisconsin, inching into central Wisconsin. But overall, there are lots of people who would like some more snow to kind of fresh up the trails up and uh, just make things a little more festive around here. Some people probably wouldn't want it, though. The, the people yeah, don't like shoveling. We live in northern Wisconsin, and we got to want some snow, right? And it's right. January. When do you think you can make that call on, on Friday? How long is it? How long? Uh, I'll how many know days tomorrow when some of those short range models get a hold of it. Okay. And there are better deterministic models that kind of say, hey, this is what's going to happen. So we'll know more tomorrow. Right, fair enough. Well, thank you so much, Jeff. We'll have more from Jeff at five and six. We'll see you then.